Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm Jason Aiken. In this week's episode, I will be discussing a pretty obscure pulp story and writer. I came across this little gem while looking for a Christmas-themed pulp story. John Kelly's Christmas Ghost by Edwin A. Gooey first appeared in the January 1927 issue of Ghost Stories. To my knowledge, this has not been published anywhere else. I read this story in a scan courtesy of the Pulp Magazine's project. They have the entire issue available on their website to download and read as a PDF or a flipbook on your computer screen. Instead of interior artwork, Ghost Stories used black and white photos. I'll put a link to this page in the show notes. The story is set in mid-1920s New York City on Christmas Eve. The main character is Antoinette Gregory, called Tony by her father. She's a wealthy and apparently single woman. She spends her Christmas Eve donating her time and money to those in need. When Tony was younger, she saw her own parents and their friends, the Huntingtons, help out the underprivileged in the neighborhood. Especially around Christmas, with Archer Huntington dressing as Santa Claus and handing out presents to children. This is rubbed off on her, and she makes a point to do the same. After a full day of philanthropy, she realizes she forgot the two people who she was thinking about the most. The widow, Bridget Kelly, and her son, Johnny. She returns home during the heavy snowfall, changes her clothes, and gets some extra money from her father. Then, she and her driver set out to make this a Christmas to remember for Bridget and Johnny Kelly. I was really surprised at how good this story is. Maybe it's due to the time of year, but I found myself really enjoying it. A cool byproduct was seeing what life was like in the 1920s, such as a train ride for five cents and people leaving their kids alone all night with the door unlocked. Besides the Christmas spirit and historical context, there is a little of the supernatural involved. This was published in Ghost Stories, after all. However, the supernatural elements are not terrifying. The ghost featured in this story might as well be Casper, but it's very fitting to the tone of this story. All age groups could read this and enjoy it. It might as well be a Christmas carol. The links to the flipbook and PDF will be in the show notes. Prior to reading this story, I had no knowledge of Edwin A. Gooey or his work. Since I enjoyed this story a good bit, I decided to see what I could find out about him. I managed to find out a little bit online. He was born in Albany, New York in July of 1871, and he passed away July 18th, 1930, in New York City. According to the Internet Speculative Fiction Database, Gooey had 20 stories. 19 shorts and one novel length appear in Ghost Stories magazine from 1926 through 1930. According to the Fiction Mags Index, he also wrote articles and short stories for other pulp magazines. His first published work is listed as being an article titled 
Death and danger lurk for slumming parties. In the October 14, 1932 issue of Midnight. His last published work appears to be an article titled Captain Charles Nungesser, Francis' Supreme Ace, in the October-November 1931 issue of Zoom, an air pulp magazine. Besides being a pulp writer, he was a clerk, reporter, and editor. He later became a comic strip artist. The Stripper's Guide has a picture of him, as well as some samples of his comic strips. You can find all of these sites I mentioned in the show notes. That's it for this week's episode. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at Pulp Crazy on Twitter and facebook.com slash pulpcrazy. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.